In a Meetology Minute a few years ago, I mentioned some research that suggested that filler words like like, um, uh, had negative connotations. Well, as often in psychology and research, here this week is a different perspective. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw and welcome to this week's Meetology Minute. Yes, I must admit that this week's Meetology Minute is born out of my observation that I'm saying mm and uh a lot more than I thought I used to. I was always quite proud that I never seemed to say them when I looked at myself uh, recorded on uh, presenting about Meetology. But I've seen a few from this year and I'm saying them a lot more and maybe I am in these Meetology Minutes. And then coincidentally, I stumbled across an article from November 2020, just a few months ago, in New Scientists looking at this phenomenon. As I said previously, or some research suggested that it's, it's, they're useless, they're inert words that prove absolutely or have absolutely no function. But other people disagree. This uh, interesting article entitled Ums and Ers are a hidden code that help complex language evolve. And then, you know, new scientists article suggests that filler words such as um, are, like, may seem articulate, but without them, human communication would be far less sophisticated. The paper um, is published on the Wiley Online Library um, and actually written by and researcher was Jean E. Foxtree. Jean is a psychologist at uh, University of California, Santa Cruz. And her research, yes, yeah, suggests that these are really important elements of our language. And uh, I know some people do get hung up. And um, I know there's some football uh, players in the UK that have gone under so much training to try and help them overcome that because they may be seen as a sign of nerves or an inability to communicate, as perhaps I've seen that in the past. Well, as I said, Psychology doesn't always get universal, or psychological theories don't always get universal approval. And certainly uh, Jeannie Tree, her research suggests, and other linguistics suggests that they're not negative. They may provide a very important element. So if you are um and erring and liking, although I can't stand it, um, it may not be a negative thing at all. Okay, that's this week's insight. Wherever you are, have a great week. I'll be back in a week's time with another Meetology Minute exploring the fascinating behavioural science, powering superb social skills. See you next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.